to third grade. Today we're going to be talking about problem and solution. So what is problem and solution? A plot often has a problem and solution. A problem is something that needs to be changed or be solved. The solution is how the characters fix the problem. So here's an example of a girl standing in the rain and she looks a little upset. And the solution to this problem would be an umbrella. Or it could be something like a raincoat or going inside. There's lots of ways that we can come up with a solution or a way that characters come up with a solution in a text. So this is a great graphic organizer on how to organize your thoughts around problem and solution. So you'll see in the very beginning we have our problem there, nice and clear. Then in the middle we have three details that kind of happen between our problem and the solution. It's obviously in a book they're not going to state the problem and then immediately come up with the solution. That's not as exciting for the reader. So we're going to use Inchworm's tail as an example. And so we can find our problem highlighted in red here. It says, the children were so high, Annika felt dizzy. Anant searched for a way to climb down, but he could not find a path. So there's our problem right there. So we're going to say, the problem is, the children are on top of a tall rock and cannot get down. So now we need some details. And highlighted on the right again is our details from Inchworm's Tale. Below, the villagers became worried. Where were the children? They searched the forest, meadows, river, and lakes. So we can simply just say that as a detail as the villagers look for the children. Our next detail is highlighted in red again. Hawk, will you help us find Anant and Anika? So we're going to simply say the villagers ask Hawk for help. So we don't want to pull exactly the words from the text. We want to use our own words when we come up with the detail. And now our, our next detail is, again, from Interim's Tale in the highlighted yellow. It says, finally, a tiny voice filled with enthusiasm spoke up and offered the help. May I try, please? It's me. To talk, the inchworm. So that's our last detail of inchworm volunteers to help. Now we should be coming to our solution. So kind of your last detail is the last step to the solution. So finally, our final box. Finally, inchworm Anant and Anika reached the bottom of the rock. Everyone cheered and called inchworm a hero. So using our own words, we can say, inchworm guides the children safely down the rocky slope. So now we can think our initial problem, the children are on top of a tall rock and cannot get down, and now our solution, inchworm guides the children safely down the rocky slope. I hope this helps you with problem and solution, and remember, there's lots of different ways that we can think about problems and solutions. So, good luck on your assignment, you're going to do great.